Hello everyone, this is Roskiro back with another sake visual game and this time I'm playing my magical cosplay cafe. I played a little bit of this just as a trial and well, it was interesting. I I'll give it that. Okay, well, let's start a new game. Hooray. Girl, okay. Generic girl voice. Um, really? Do you admit it? You'll always be there for me? Ah! It's bright. So bright. Oh, my eyes, they are being blinded. Like a summer day from a distant past. A beautiful distant past of flowers and promises. I promise I'll always be there for you, random girl. The sun is shining. That's probably why it's so bright. Wow. Astute assumption, me. That That's brilliant. I... The sun is shining. That's why it's bright. It's ingenious, I swear. The sun is very bright, after all. <laughs> Yet again, another astute assumption. I'm just a genius. I can't even believe it. Thank you so much! <laughs> the girl smiles at me. I think she's smiling, at least. I would hope so. I can't see her face at all. Ah, the perfect woman. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just remember, as I promise. Okay. Okay, random girl, I'll remember this promise of sorts. She takes my hand in hers. I feel something. But... That dream again. Aw, oh, man. That girl in my mind is such a blur. I don't even remember if she's real or not. I don't even know why I keep having that dream. Well, because this is a sim dating visual novel and this happens all the time at the beginning of them. Maybe it's my subconscious reminding me that I still don't have a girlfriend. Cause you know having a girlfriend or boyfriend is the most essential part of life. If you don't have one you should go die. <sighs> life is so cruel sometimes. <laughs> oh first world problems. Hooray. More of them. It's dark. Oh crap. You's about to get raped. Where am I? I hear someone speaking. Are they talking to me? Wait, what's my name again? <laughs> wow, I'm impressive, but my name is not Takashi. It is Roskiro. And it, it, even though I'm supposed to be a dude character. Which, by the way, I forgot to read the prologue to this game. Um, the the slight blurb that came with the visual novel. Hi, my name is Takashi, and I'm the chef at the magical cosplay cafe. Every day I get to be around super sweet girls who work at the cafe with me. But I still don't have a girlfriend. Wah, wah, wah. That makes me sad. Sad face. Maybe you can help me find a happy ending? Well, no, Takashi, because... I'm gonna be playing this game, and I'm gonna find myself a super sweet girl. <sighs> Take that, Takashi. Okay. Roskiro. That is a gentleman's name, if I've ever heard it. Oh, right. I'm Hino Hino Roskiro. That's my name. <laughs> Hino Hino. Oh, man. It's it's not as good as Owlways, though. It's just not as good. Roskiro, wake up! Oh. <laughs> I look up. There's a young girl with blonde hair. She looks mad. Roskirel, how long are you going to sleep? You have work to do. Sorry, sorry. I was just taking a break. You were sleeping. This is re 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 chan that, that's a fun name. Uh, she's one of the girls who works at the magical cosplay cafe. I can never figure out when to stop saying her name. Sometimes I get caught in a <laughs> loop until someone interrupts me. Uh, I know the feeling, me. We have customers waiting on food. Ah, oh, you're adorable. She pouts. It's so cute when she pouts. Wow, my, my character is interesting. I want to tease her a little bit more. Maybe I can get her to cry. What is wrong with you? <laughs> yes, I will tease the girl until she cries. Cry, baby, cry. 
It's so cute when she cries. Okay, I'm I'm messed up. It's official. Hino Hino san. Is the food ready yet? I'm getting there. Sorry for the wait. Ah, oh, and I've got a beautiful another beautiful lady in my life and she kind of looks like Yuko from XXX Holic. Now Chico, I'm so glad you came. Rescue is sleeping on the job again. Uh, yes I was. Ara, ara. We can't have that, can we? Oh my gosh, she's sweating. Sweat is pouring from only the middle of her face. All of her sweat glands are located at her brow. At the middle of her brow. Nowhere else, though, because she's perfection. Sorry, Yamata-san. It won't happen again. Ha ha ha, I lie. I hope not. Death glare. <laughs> Rest girl can't say no to Nachiko. I bet you have a crush on her now. Uh, I'm, I do not. Which of course means I do. I don't want to admit that Riri Chan is right. Uh, I only said Riri twice that time. I'm getting better at this. But I guess it's obvious. Yamata san is the most perfect, beautiful woman I know. After all, she looks like Yuko. She's the reason I applied to work at this cafe. I'm just happy to be by her side every single day. <laughs> Although the other girls who work here aren't bad either. Oh man, me, you're a piece of work. Please finish the food quickly. We want to re we want repeat cu customers after we want repeat customers after all. Man, I can't say anything. No problem. I'll get right to that, ladies. <laughs> Uh, oh wait, okay. Uh, Yamato sounds like a boy name, so I always want to be the king. Thank you. Ah, uh, that smile! That beautiful smile! <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I hope that actual guys do not think like this. <laughs> and they just slid away. Hooray. I wish I could admire her beauty a little longer. Well, I'll just have to do that from the bushes tonight. Uh, my usual hobby. But I don't want to make her mad again. I look at the orders on the list. Two omelets and a parfait. I'll start with the omelets first, then the parfait. I break a few eggs into a bowl and beat them. Then I pour them into a hot pan. Wow, you're so informative, me. Thank you for telling me all this. Just telling yourself all this, I guess? This is what I do to make omelets, because omelets are made out of eggs. Wow, we have a real Albert Einstein on our hands right here. Oh man, give this man a round of applause. He he deserves it. He's a genius. Yes. The eggs cook quickly, and I throw the finished omelet on some plates. I grab the plates and head to the counter. He know, he know. Whoa! <laughs> wow, this guy overreacts to everything, doesn't he? Kirokage-san! I didn't see you there! Oh, Kirokage-san, another hot woman who works at my workplace. Obviously. Kirokage-san is always so quiet. I never know when she's around. She's so mysterious! Oh me, there is no such thing as mysterious. Strong bad taught me that. Wait, why am I even thinking all of this? <laughs> I've been working with these girls for weeks. I shouldn't be thinking of introductions for, to them in my head. That's just weird. <sighs> yeah, because you're not already weird enough as it is, good sir. Okay. And we're, just, we're an interesting specimen of manliness, we are. Are the omelets done yet? Um, yeah, sure thing. Here you go, Kirokage. I hold up both plates. Here they are. Oh, uh, don't leave me, Kirokage. You are so beautiful. She takes them without a word and leaves the kitchen. Humph, the least she could have done was say thanks. Oh, man. We're getting so angry at this chick just because she was doing her job efficiently. That girl is so mysterious. Stop saying mysterious, me. I don't have time to think about her, though. I have to make a parfait. Yes, because parfaits are the best. I open up the freezer and pull out the ice cream, but the cotton feels super light. 
Oh no. <laughs> when I look inside, I see there's only hardly enough ice cream left. No! I scrape as much as I can from the sides and the bottom. It's just barely enough to make a parfait. Oh no! Who, who ate all the ice cream? It's the great mystery of who ate all the ice cream. I, I'm wondering if that's... Please don't tell me that that's one of the major plot threats of this game. Hino Hino-san? Right here! I hand the parfait to Yamato-san. I hope she's impressed. Well, she, her bow is impressed. It's giant, man. It takes up... Didn't notice that it, it takes up a majority of her head. That, that's an impressive bow. Thank you. Goodbye, Yamato-san. Yes, I made her happy. Four points for me. Oh my gosh, this man is keeping tabs on how many times he makes women happy in this restaurant. That, that's pretty interesting. I just hope that no one orders any more parfaits. We're completely out of ice cream now. Ah, oh, well, just go out and re erase it from the menus and... Is we have to go. Th we have to do wacky shenanigans to stop the customers at all costs from ordering parfaits. I thought for sure we had more ice cream. Someone must have eaten it. But ooh, oh man. Oh, it looks like we're going on an ice cream ice cream crusade now. We're gonna have to go find the culprit. After the cafe closes, wow, that was a quick day. I go into the dining area to talk to the girls. I think our restaurant is in trouble. We only had one customer today, and all they ordered was an omelet and a parfait, ladies. We're in trouble. Oh, re re re, you're so pink. Ah, oh. we need to talk. The ice cream is gone. It's a disaster. Despite the fact that we're closed now and we could obviously just go out and buy more ice cream, but whatever. What's wrong, Hino Hino-san? Someone ate the last of our ice cream! We almost ran out today! Then why don't we just go buy some more? Ara, ara, that's no good. I want to know who did it! I bet it was us, and we're just like flipping out, and then, and we just totally forgot that we ate all the ice cream, and we're just flipping out at these guys for no reason. We're, we're so wow, we really overreact, don't we? Oh man, angry face. Don't look at me. I'm on a diet. Ravy, 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 ravy! Didn't do it. Ice cream gives me a headache. I bet you did eat it. You look like the type of- you- you kind of look like Honey Senpai, so... <sighs> yeah, there's a good possibility that you ate it. Well, that's a problem. Because I didn't eat it either. Oh, Yamada-san, you're perfect, so you obviously didn't do it. It was re 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 re